And from Escondido has pleaded guilty to torturing and killing at least 10 cats after hunting for them in person here in San Diego County and online on Craigslist. Joshua Boyer will be sentenced tomorrow in Vista. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes talked with investigators and Boyer's attorney ahead of tomorrow's court appearance. She joins us live with more. Kirsten. Yeah, justice for Leonard and the multiple cats that were violently killed in 2019. That's what this flyer says, and it's calling for animal supporters to show up at Josh Boyer's sentencing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. in a Vista courtroom. I want you to take a listen to how Leonard the cat's disappearance led authorities to Boyer. He had an app on his phone where he could locate where his cat was, and he noticed that the cat um, every day did basically figure eights in the neighborhood. Um, and then one day he couldn't find the cat and he saw that the cat um, had been taken up a freeway and into this property in Escondido. A GPS tracker on a cat led authorities to a home just down this road where they discovered the bodies of 10 other cats and other partial remains. What they found was um, in plain view several deceased animals um, in very suspicious circumstances. So they immediately called humane law enforcement. Dogs, goats, chickens pigeons, all kinds of things that we discovered uh, through Craigslist warrants of the individual trying to obtain animals that were being given away. Lieutenant Regina Price with San Diego Humane Society says Joshua Boyer is facing 10 counts of animal cruelty and one count of possession of metal knuckles for crimes dating back to May of 2019. There's another charge of animal cruelty dating back to April of 2021. So it appears that this person uh, just enjoyed to take life from animals. Investigators say Boyer went to extreme measures just to hurt these animals. Tortured, they all had empty stomachs and eight of them had been um, killed with the use of a deadly weapon. A lot of weapons, we did have um, baseball bats, machetes, other such items that had what appeared to be blood and fur on them. Lieutenant Price says their investigation found that Boyer used lies to adopt free animals off Craigslist and his history of searches for animals date back years before 2019 when he was arrested. Lieutenant Price says there is a strong tie between hurting animals and later hurting people. Animal cruelty is, is very important um, because it's not just the victim and the crime, it's the violence of the crime. And if somebody's able to do that to a defenseless animal, um, who knows what else they are capable of. We also reached out to Boyer's attorney who told CBS 8 that she is asking for probation for her client because he suffers from mental health issues, has apologized, and is deeply remorseful. Boyer's sentencing, again, is scheduled for 9 a.m. in a Vista courtroom. We will be there, and we'll have more on this developing story for you. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Kirsten, you talked a lot about Leonard the cat. Do you know what happened to him? Unfortunately, um, investigators found Leonard the cat's collar in a neighbor's backyard. It was smashed up and investigators believe that Leonard the cat met the same fate as the other animals tied to that property in Escondido. Marcella. All right, we'll see what uh, the turnout is at tomorrow's sentencing. Thanks so much, Kirsten.